The first stroller was invented way back in 1733 by William Kent, who was an architect and the designer of the Royal Garden. He developed it for the Duke of Devonshire's children, and it was generally referred to as a pram, baby carriage, or a perambulator. Most often these days, we simply call them strollers, and there's no denying that they have come a long way, baby. Welcome back to the channel guys or welcome if it's your first time visiting this is the box for the new stroller that i got that i was telling you guys about in my last video you know the one with the scam <laughs> anyway something good did come of it i found this amazing stroller and i absolutely love it so this is the box and the reason it's still here is because it's kind of big and when I had it out the other day, prepared to get rid of it, my grandson was here and he wanted to play in it. And he is coming back to my house in a day or so, and he asked me if I could hold on to the box so he can play with it some more. And he is just only three years old. And let's not forget that I have a ton of actual toys <laughs> for him and all my grandchildren here at the house, but he wants to play with the box. <laughs> but... I'm of the belief that whatever my grandkids want, they get, especially from Nana. <laughs> so yeah, guys, the box is here, and this is the name of the stroller. It is by the brand E-Little, and it's called the Emu. So here is the stroller itself, all folded up. I love that the seat can stay in the stroller. It is really compact. I don't think you can tell here. I'm going to show it to you guys from a different angle, but it is super compact and much more lightweight than my older stroller. So yeah, I think from this angle, you can see that it truly is compact and folds up very easily and unfolds easily as well. It has a strap across the top, very, very sturdy strap for you to carry the stroller from one place to the next as it is folded up in this position, which is another feature my older stroller did not have, as well as the ability to fold it up this neatly with the seat in place. The older stroller, I had to take the seat out to store. So I'm just gonna quickly go over some of the features that I love so much about the stroller. When you open it up, this is how it is because you put the seat back completely straight when you fold it. So this is what it looks like when it's unfolded in forward-facing position. Lovely padded handle grip and it is adjustable. So it goes up or down depending on your height. This lever here controls the seat back position. You kind of just give it a squeeze like that and the seat reclines and it goes like all the way back guys. So if this is being used for a newborn baby or an infant, yeah, they can just totally recline and it's real sturdy in each position. The footrest area also is adjustable via these buttons that you press on either side. So it can go down for an older child or up for a younger child. One of my very favorite features are these little buttons on either side. You just pull them back and this entire seat can be turned around to face the parent, which I love, I love. And then of course, as you see it here, is in forward facing or world facing position. This bar or armrest does come off completely. You just have to press a little button here and it just pops off and the other side as well so it is completely removable so i took the seat out and i put it in parent facing position and that is how easily the push bar can move up and down to accommodate different heights and there are several different places it can stop so it's not just low or high absolutely gorgeous sunshade and it has some really cool features. There's not one but two zippers to allow you to have more shade for the baby. And you can see I went with the gray stroller, gray with the black. 
light gray. And then there's another zipper here for a secret hidden compartment for an air vent. I know this is a little tough for me with one hand, but check it out. You just pull it back and there's mesh netting and you can see the baby and they can get some air or breeze there. And then it just zips back up on both if you want a different position for the sun canopy. I really love, love, love this stroller and these features, guys. It has a really nice size basket beneath for your diaper bag or whatever. And I think you can tell that it just has a really nice compact footprint. Also want to point out the beautiful harness system here. It's real easy to operate. That button pushes nicely and it sort of pops the seat belts open. Love the cushioning on here, the color, everything. So now I think it's time that we get a baby in there. What do you say, guys? Let's do it. Did you guys have a feeling it was going to be Ashton? Well, you were right. But yeah, I went ahead and put this beautiful Peter Rabbit afghan beneath her. So if you admire this lovely blanket and would like a chance to own one for yourself, not this particular one, but one exactly like it, then you will want to make sure you are subscribed to the channel and keep watching because I originally had it as part of a hidden giveaway prize, but it was never claimed. Can you imagine that? So we're going to do another giveaway. Now, if you have already entered for this blanket for a chance to win it, don't worry, your entry will count. So you're already in the next one. You will be included in the next one without having to do another thing. So here she is, guys. This is Ashton Laurel. She is the Laura Sculpt by Bonnie Brown. She was brought to life by Claire's Cuties Reborn Art Dolls. And I got her from the Dolls of the World Expo. I'm going to talk about what she's wearing because, yes, I am obsessed once again with her outfit. Maybe what I'll do is I'm going to take the armrest off the stroller. She doesn't need it. And then you can get a much better view. I can talk about her outfit briefly. But look at her, you guys. Ugh. My heart, be still my heart with this baby. Okay, there we go. So now you can really see her ensemble, which is so super cute on her. So the top is a long sleeved off white onesie with lace around the sleeves and the collar. And it's by Calamaro, I believe. I picked this one up from Jacqueline Kramer's booth at the doll show and she had amazing things. And then she's wearing an adorable pair of bubble shorts. It's all floral, like a ditzy floral in shades of like that beautiful butterscotch and brown and white. The top did not come with the shorts or the bloomer, but the socks did. And there are beautiful little butterscotch or lemon yellow with lace around the top. And then she has her white crib shoes on. They look like little pre-walkers and they have little silver bells on them. And then I put this little simple white suede headband bone or hair. And she's cuddling with her lovey. She has her passy there beside her. Beautiful pacifier clip that I got in her box opening. And there she is, you guys. And we are going to head out on a little stroll. There is a beautiful breeze blowing today, but it is sunny and warm. So I have this little muslin blanket attached to the top of the stroller so I can keep her out of the sun entirely if need be. I'm super protective with all of my babies and I definitely don't want too much sun on them at any point in time. So yeah, it's gorgeous out. Let's just take a little walk around the neighborhood. I think Ashton is really enjoying this stroller and it is so smooth, you guys, and so easy to push with just one hand because I don't have a tripod for my phone. So I'm holding the phone in one hand and pushing with the other, and it's like a breeze. No problem. So I hope you guys have all been doing well. I want to thank you so much for all of your input on my last video on the event that happened with the older stroller, but all's well that ends well. The old stroller has been rehomed and it went to a very worthy person. <laughs> and yeah, I'm glad that it's all over with. And believe me, not that I wanna go there again, guys, because look at this sky. Look at that bright blue, clear, beautiful sky. But I do wanna say that some people were asking me about the text messages that I got from 
the scammer that was pretending to be Zell and that there were typos and grammatical errors there. Indeed, there were, guys, but what was happening was while the guy had me on the phone, they were coming in like just flying into my phone, which I was on, so it was really difficult for me to read them while I was like talking. So I hadn't really read them until after the fact. And that's when I was like, oh my gosh, is this guy kidding me or what? I mean, yeah, it was just like a joke. There were so many red flags in those messages indicating that they were not coming from an actual company because some of them were just a hot mess. So had I really been able to like study them or look at them more carefully at the beginning, I probably would have hung up on the guy instantly. Anyway, enough of that. I'm just so happy that it all worked out in the end. I have this amazing stroller that I love. And if you're interested, guys, I will link you to the listing on Amazon. It was 35% off when I purchased it. I'm not sure if that deal is still available, but yeah, you might want to check it out. It really is a beautiful stroller. So I'm going to just take a quiet stroll back home. I'll let you guys listen to the music and have a look around, and then we'll meet up once again in the backyard. I'll tell you what guys this is one content baby girl and oh so special i really just can't express how much she has just stolen my heart honestly i know it's sort of that way whenever we get a new baby but i don't know i feel like sometimes it goes deeper than other times can you relate to that you know some babies come home when you're excited and then you know it just sort of wanes but She's still relatively new, and I'm still just, like, mind blown with this princess. And I'm not sure if I even said this earlier, but yeah, I think we're doing Theme Thursday by accident. I think Ashton has ruffles, and it might be ruffles, right? So yeah, this would be her first stroll, and she's participating in this week's Theme Thursday. So yeah, she is just enjoying being here under the palm tree and this gorgeous breeze. I love this breeze today, guys. I could actually stay out here all day, but it is starting to get warm. So I think we are going to go back inside. And this is definitely an easier thing for me now with this stroller. It is much lighter for me to carry up the stairs, the back patio stairs. The other one was much heavier. So I was easily able to lift the stroller and carry it right up those steps there and put her on the landing here without a hitch. And she stayed asleep the entire time. I mean, what an angel, you guys, what an angel. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed this video and seeing my beautiful baby Ashton once again. And I do hope that you will stick around, stay close, because I am going to be doing a redo of the blanket giveaway. You don't want to miss this guys because this blanket is it's amazing i love it and i want one of you guys to have one as well as long as you're subscribed to my channel so we'll get that going pretty soon i'm also planning a few fun surprises for you coming up ahead and yeah you don't want to miss them i promise you don't so make sure that you stay close stay safe and stay healthy we love you guys for watching take care